Howdy folks and welcome to the Hillbilly Kitchen. Today we're going to be making a two ingredient cake. This is a really simple mug cake recipe and you make it in the microwave like other mug cakes. Now, if you wanted just a small single layer cake or something, you could certainly take part of this and make a small single layer cake to make dessert for just two or three people. I really truly wish I had had this when my children were growing up and even for Brett and I, and I plan on keeping it in the house now all the time because it's a way to get a single serving cake that you can just have as a cake or you can use it in other desserts put ice cream on it fruit toppings on it whatever without having to spend much money depending on sales you can make these for as little as 10 cents a cake now there is no snack cake of any kind that you can get for that and certainly if you live alone you don't want to buy a big cake or make a big cake and then have that whole cake in your house you've either got to eat it or freeze it or throw it away and that's just wasteful and in these times wasting is not an option so you only need two things you need two cake mixes one of them has to be an angel food cake now a lot of times angel food cake is a little more than the other kinds of cakes but you can use any other flavor with it and you just mix the two cake mixes together that's how you start this you can do it in a plastic bag or in a bowl and what i did is i wrote the date of my cake mixes on my bag they're both dated july of next year so that means this is good for an entire year you can have single serving cakes for a year that are fresh made right when you want them and all we're going to do is just dump these two cake mixes in our bag or our bowl whatever and write your date on there and if you kept these sealed up in a freezer bag in the refrigerator or something they would probably even last longer than a year this batch will make between 25 and 30 individual cakes it kind of depends on the the mix but you should get between 25 and 30 out of it just going to dump both of them in here any brand any flavor you want will work and you could mix up a couple of these in different flavors at least a chocolate and a, a yellow or a vanilla or something like that so you've got different flavors seal your bag up and mix it shake it up a little bit if there's lumps kind of squish it to bust them up you don't have to get every little lump out of it though Now, the reason why one of them has to be the angel food mix is because the angel food mix has egg in it. So make sure you do that. Now, once you get it mixed up, you measure out. This is a three to one cake. Three tablespoons of your mix, put it in a mug. Two tablespoons of water. Our mix already has everything else we need in it. Give it a little stir. Kind of mix it up good there. Even if you don't find the cake mixes on sale, this is not going to cost you more than 20 cents a serving. And the mug cakes that you can buy, they came out with them, oh, I don't know, five or six years ago. They hadn't been around that long. They are a dollar a serving in most places, which is crazy. So this is a pretty big savings. Once you get it mixed up, you know, and it's fairly well mixed, just stick it in the microwave for a minute. While that is cooking, I want to share Deuteronomy 31.6 with you. Be strong and of good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, he it is that doth go with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. I know times are getting tough, and I know a lot of you are afraid of what's going to happen. But fear is not of the Lord, and he is in control of this no matter how bad it gets. And if he is with you, he's not going to leave you. So don't be afraid. 
he'll take care of it. And in one minute, our mug cake is done. And we have a fresh little individual cake that we can make for anywhere from 10 to 20 cents a piece. It only takes a minute to cook it, doesn't heat up the house, pretty much zero effort. And like I said, you can make all kinds of desserts out of this. Top it with ice cream, top it with fruit and whipped cream, just whatever you want. And this, unlike other mug cakes, will actually release from the cup. Because it has that um, angel food cake in it, it'll come out of the cup. Those mug cakes that you get in the little bitty packets that cost a dollar a piece, they won't come out. So if you want to use this to top it with ice cream or fruit and whipped cream, this is a much better option. And you can do just dessert for a couple of people or you can do dessert for a whole crowd with this. And it's a nice spongy cake. It has a good texture and a good flavor. And it has any flavor you want. This is a time saver. It's a money saver. And you know, when times start to get as hard as they are now, sometimes we need a little treat just to make us feel better. So hang on to this recipe. Let your kids can make it when they come in from school and you don't have to worry about you know keeping snack cakes in the house these are cheaper than snack cakes if you live alone or you're empty nesters you could have a little dessert without having that temptation of that big cake or having that big cake take up your whole freezer and it don't taste good once you freeze it anyway so this one's a keeper and i really wish i had had it a long time ago and i'd like to say i came up with it i don't know who did but whoever did good job Thank y'all so much for joining us in the Hillbilly Kitchen. If you haven't already, please don't forget to click like and subscribe before you leave. Share this video with your friends. And until next time, remember to put God first.